Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. In Java, union types as a formal concept do not exist in the same way they do in some other programming languages like TypeScript or TypeScript. However, we can achieve similar behavior using interfaces, inheritance, and generics. This tutorial will explore how to mimic union types in Java through the use of these features. Hashtag hashtag understanding union types. Union types allow a variable to hold values of multiple types. For example, if you have a union type AB, a variable can hold either an instance of type A or type B. In Java, we can simulate this behavior by using interfaces or abstract classes. Hashtag hashtag using interfaces to simulate union types. Let's say we want to create a system that can handle different shapes, example circle and square. We can define a common interface called shape and then have different classes implement this interface. Hashtag 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 step 1, define the interface. Hashtag 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 step 2, implement the interface in different classes. Now, let's create specific shapes that implement this interface. Hashtag 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 step 3, create a method that accepts union types. Now we can create a method that accepts a shape parameter, effectively allowing it to accept either a circle or a square. Hashtag 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 step 4, using the union type in action. Now, let's see how we can use these classes and methods together. Hashtag hashtag using generics for more flexibility. If you want to extend this concept further, you can use generics. For instance, if you want to create a method that can operate on any type that extends the shape interface, you can define it like this. Hashtag 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 example usage. Hashtag hashtag conclusion. While Java doesn't have built-in support for union types, we can effectively simulate them using interfaces and inheritance. This approach allows us to create flexible and reusable code that can handle multiple types without sacrificing type safety. By using interfaces, we can define a common contract for different classes, enabling polymorphism. Generics can further enhance this design, allowing for methods that can work with any subtype of a given interface.